Hey guys, so for this week's tutorial, we'll be discussing how to layer your necklaces, especially if you're layering four to five pieces. This is my everyday layering stack and I'll show you guys how I layer this together. I just wanted to thank you all for giving us your input and for giving me some new ideas on future tutorials. I'll be incorporating some silver jewelry into a future tutorial. I'll show you guys how to stack earrings, bracelets, and rings in a future tutorial as well and I'll also show you guys a bunch of celebrity looks that you guys have all been asking for so definitely stay tuned for those there have been many requests for this video and so I definitely wanted to give this the top priority especially since layering and stacking is so important when it comes to jewelry so stay tuned for future tutorials because all of your questions will be met with many answers here's how I stack my necklaces I'll show you guys the basics and I hope you guys continue to enjoy these tutorials and I hope that they are helpful. This is pretty much my everyday basic stack. I sleep with this, I shower with this, I pretty much don't take it off. So to start this is a double curb Cuban chain choker available for purchase. It is 16 inches so I make it a little bit shorter just so that it fits more on my neck as you can see here it just sits sort of right above my collarbone which is where your first necklace should sit if you do plan on stacking three or four necklaces which I usually tend to do sometimes I'll add a fifth if there is a specific occasion and I feel like I really want to dress it up but for the sake of the video I'm just gonna do four I feel like that is what most people tend to do or if you're just starting off that's a perfect number after that this is my tennis necklace we do have different tennis necklaces on the site. You can opt for a sterling version or a 14 karat version right under that so that it's stacked perfectly where there's no tangling, see it perfectly, and it just all falls beautifully on the neck so that when you are dressed up, you can see it so seamlessly. After that, this is my tennis necklace. We do have different tennis necklaces on the site. You can opt for a sterling version or a 14 karat version. It really doesn't matter. It's up to you and it all depends on your budget. What I do is I like to layer this about two inches below my choker. So if I'm starting here at 16 inches, then the necklace should be 18 inches. I then have my necklace this is the Adina Diamond Script necklace. It is available on the site as well. We do have it in two versions. You can either buy it in the sterling silver version for a much more affordable option, or if you're looking to invest in a timeless piece, you can get it in the diamond version. I love wearing a personalized piece only because I feel like that's usually the first thing that draws people's attention when they see you. And so I felt like that's something that I always wanted to wear on my neck, especially since that's usually where people look at when they look you straight in the face. So that is about 20 inches. And so that is lower than my tennis necklace which basically fits right under that for the last necklace i chose something that did not have a pendant that it would be more round shaped and more oval shaped as you can see here since the adina does become a little bit more v since it is kind of a pendant so for this chain this is the paper clip chain necklace we do have it on the site as well. I am working on a sterling silver version just so that it could be more affordable as well. It is my absolute favorite chain. We have just added it to the charm collection so that you can add charms to it. I do usually have a charm or two on this as well, but since I changed up the stack, I wanted this to be more of a rounded version and so that's why I didn't put the charms on because once I do put the charms on it does become more of a V like this and so when I do do that I tend to lift the A up and then have that more of a V but that is usually how I stack and so this paper clip is the 22 inch I believe so that basically every necklace that I'm layering with is two inches apart so that it falls perfectly when I put it on. I think that is the most important thing to state 
when it comes to layering your jewelry, especially with necklaces. And another thing is that you wanna always start with a necklace that has no charms on it, or if it does have charms, that they're really, really small so that it does not interfere with the next necklace that will be coming into it. So I really do love this. This is my everyday stack. I do change it up a bit, but it's pretty much, it pretty much revolves around this. Such a perfect layering stack that just, you know, says businesswoman, everyday casual, business casual. And then when I go out, I sometimes will add a pair of hoops. So I'll change out of my basic everyday huggies and I'll put something on that's a little bit dressier and that makes this stack look so much better. If you guys have any other questions or if there's anything else you'd like to see, please leave any comments below. I will try to link these pieces. I'll also link below a link to my TikTok where you can see a much quicker and faster stacking video that can also be useful for you with some other pendants and charm necklaces as well. So don't forget, to let me know if there are any types of tutorials that you guys would like to be seeing. I know that many of you have requested for some personal tutorials, some advice on how to be a woman boss, questions about how I face many hurdles day to day. And so I'll definitely be sharing that as well in some future videos. Please stay tuned because there are many videos that I have yet to share and I hope that you guys continue to enjoy them. Stay safe.